images of black women in film. Okay, part two. So, um, one of the things that I've noticed is that they present us as hating ourselves, and quite frankly, a lot of us don't hate ourselves, we love ourselves, but we don't see ourselves as these images placed on Bill's big screen. Like, for example, you look at people like uh, Sandra Bullock. Actually, I don't have any respect for her because I heard about some of her racist tendencies. Um, I like Julia Roberts. I like Susan Sarandon because she's very, very selective. And uh, someone like Nicole Kidman is uh, very white-skinned, and, you know, they project her as sort of this goddess of the film industry. But have you noticed that the only women that I've mentioned have been white women? But there's also Regina King. Fabulous. She should be bigger than Nicole Kidman because you know what? She gets everybody going. And uh, why do they present us like this? I was on the internet yesterday and I'm like, okay, let me see if there's like some agencies, some black casting agencies because you know what they will know what the deal is you come in you'll see kink you'll see all kinds of style and you know what I didn't see anything I'm saying to myself what the fuck is this so I go to the Human Rights Commission Ontario I'm like okay looking up oh a friend of mine this lady that I used to do some political work for um, and that's the thing is people when people come around and what you to do political work for them, investigate them first because what they like to do is they like to use something called diversity images. So they go around their campaigns and then they have all this infrastructure that they use and then they put the black face in there because they know that people are like, oh, you know, certain cultural groups do certain things. And uh, they actually used my image and I wasn't happy with it. So I've had some uh, problems with some political panderers using my image and I told them if they use my image if I see it I'm gonna fucking sue the whole fucking political party because they didn't even ask me for my permission but this is the thing you have these images of black women and I'm here in Toronto I'm like okay I see all these black females you know they're stylish and you know they got their own lingo and they got you know they got some rhythm going and uh, where exactly can they call to say hey I'm interested in doing some uh, film work, they need to go to black agencies. And there's none in Toronto. So I'm going to show you some shit in Toronto. And then, you know, it's not to show you the shit, but it's also to say, okay, how do we actually collaborate around stuff like this? So I'm coming up to a light, and I think my uh, time is coming down on my uh, filming here. So I'll get this uh, lens thing. Uh, some time because I need to show more of myself and I'm just learning how to do this filming okay I've got some Fuji film whatever camera I'm just about to cross the street okay so think about these images of uh, black women in film I get to talk about black males like I don't like how they're projected either and you know what film is such a beautiful reconstruction of the imagination but also reality and um, my position is eco-imaging and I've got a choice. If they're going to ask me to be the spokesperson for Walmart, I'll tell them to go fuck themselves. Because you know what? Walmart kills the Canadian economy and it kills the black community. Why is it that you see blacks working in Walmart and not blacks working in the Toronto Public Library?